Lily. How have you been? Pretty good, but... Pretty good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Does it seem like it, it might be something else going on, so you want to go ahead and start talking about it? Um, well, first and foremost, I'm going to stress my um, you know, going through, getting ready to start, you know, this new career, and still having to work through other things that are going on, like, you know, I have so many obligations, and I guess I'm so I'm somewhat overwhelmed. Like I know that I know that I have a lot. I just I got a lot going on. Point blank period. I got a lot going on around around me though. And that's the crazy thing. Like I don't necessarily have a lot going on. It's just a lot going on around me that I'm that I have to do, I guess. You're feeling the stress and being overwhelmed because of other situations around you. Yeah. Okay. Can you clarify that a little bit, please? Okay. So it's like my stressors are not really my stressors. Like, I get stressed worrying about other people's stuff, like my friends, my family. Like, I feel like I have to do things if they're in a bind. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and I shouldn't say have to, because really I don't, but it's like, I don't know. I just feel obligated. Yeah, it sounds like you really care about them. You're going to put the effort towards Very much working so. about them. Yeah. And does it seem like there's times in your life where you're able to take care of yourself? Like, do you think that you're a good example? Not really, just in the past week. I just left. Like, I left, you know, I left home. I left responsibilities. I left, I just, I'm, I'm just, this, like, even though I have things to do, I don't feel like I'm burdened to do things for everybody else. And I think that's the hardest thing for me is because I don't want to let anybody down. But at the same time, I'm tired. I don't want to disappoint anybody, so yeah, that is a source of it, but I kind of feel like, too, I keep saying I have to do these things, which I know I don't have to, but I feel like I have to. Okay. I feel obligated to do it. Can you give me an example of something that you've done this past week that maybe you didn't want to do, but you did? Um... None really this past week because I ain't really been at home. But I feel like, all right, so if somebody call me and say, hey, um, let me hold $30, $40, such and such is going on, I can be like, oh, but it's like, I feel like, oh, okay. If I don't give it to them, X, Y, Z could happen or something else could happen. So I guess what happens is I think about they don't get upset with me or something drastic could happen to them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like because I always think about how everybody else is going to feel versus how I feel. Because the reality is that honestly, I have a lot of resentment because I... And I'm not blaming anybody else because I do things that I really don't feel like doing. Okay, so I would love you to clarify this. I'm, I'm just a little bit confused. I know, because I'm all over the no, place. No, no, it's not that. You know, I'm just hearing that you feel obligated to do these things. And that until this week, you haven't been taking time for yourself. And yet, you feel resentment doing those things. Mm -hmm. So, So I think the resentment I feel is because... I feel obligated, right? I'm mad at myself because it's like, okay, but you really don't have to do this. You choose to do it. But I choose to do it because I feel obligated because I don't want to see anybody.
somebody go without or like you know if you if I know you in a bind like I want to be there but at the same time when I'm tired or I, I guess I just don't feel like anybody ever looks back and says well you know what you man, you are doing a lot let me let me you know let me figure something else out yeah. you know what I'm saying or I'm always hitting you up for X Y Z like let me like, let me rearrange some stuff myself or you good, you straight, you know, and, and I think, I, I think too, I feel like I give so much, but I give so much and it can't be reciprocated. Okay. So you recognize the pain in other people's lives and you want to fill that gap for them, but yet are you feeling disappointed because others aren't filling your bucket up? Exactly. Can you talk about someone who happens in your life that fills you up ever? Can you talk about a time that you felt My mom. You? Okay. For real, for real. Yeah, That's the only person. Her. So, my mom, all right. So, first and foremost, my mom is one of the people that I have to, I have to help. Like, that's my mother. And she's older. But, like, I was at my mom's house for, like, five days. Okay. Although she's older and, like, I have to do certain things. If I'm asleep, she's not going to bother me. I don't care if it's 7.30 in the morning and she want to go to the market or she want to go to Walmart. She's not going to wake me up and say, Lil, take me to Walmart or Lil, go with me to Walmart or can you do this? She's going to let me rest. And so it's like, I got rest. And even though like I would get my nieces and nephews but I, that was something I wanted to do. But what I'm finding is that I have gotten to the point where I get more anxious about making sure that other people and their business is good than I neglect my own business. Yeah. But I'm hearing you say that when you're with your mom, you feel like you're getting filled up. Yeah. That but that's so sad that, because that's the only person. And I also feel like that's sad because my mother isn't like the person that I pour the most into. Like, I really, I will, I will definitively say that in my, what I would call my intimate circle, I probably do 70 to 80% of the porn. Okay. And you know, it's not to say that certain things aren't reciprocated, but I'm going to be honest, like, I could give a dag on about material things being reciprocated. Can you reciprocate my energy? Can you reciprocate my time? Like, I get upset. Yeah, you sound frustrated right now. I am. And, and I'm probably, you know what, I probably am. Like, like I'll go home. Like, some days, I, I knew that I needed to step back and just really regroup. Because I was getting to the point I was sleeping all day. I would get off work and go to sleep. In the morning, I don't want to get up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's getting cold. I don't want to go outside. Like, I don't want to go anywhere. Like, can I just stay in the house? So. I mean, I'm noticing right now that, you know, we're in the past. You've been a little bit more um, sad about the situation or, you know what I'm saying? But right now, you, you're showing a little bit more frustration. Can you tell me about where that's coming from? I think I'm frustrated because I'm having to realize that if I don't get my personal stuff straight, my professional is going to suffer. And so for me, I think what I had to put into perspective is that if I'm so focused on helping everybody else get their personal and professional lives in order, but I'm not getting my own personal and professional, well, I take that back because I feel like Maybe this is a part of it. And I know I'm jumping all over the place, but maybe this is a part of it. I'm starting to feel like when people look at me, they see it all together. So since hers is all together, let me pull or let me use her energy to put mine together. And I think I'm tired. So I think, you know how kids get mad when they get sleepy or they get restless? I'm freaking restless. Yeah. So because people see you as being this responsible person, you feel like they can Yeah, can I 
be irresponsible. They can jump on you. And that's exactly how I feel. So it's like now, I don't know. Um, you know, I needed this because I do know I, I got to kind of move. I got to kind of move. I got to really. There are some conversations and some things that I know I have to do that's going to, it's going to kill me, it's going to hurt me, but I got to do it because I just could have done it a long time ago. And so. Can you talk about, have you made any plans to have those discussions? I have. I made plans. I, I'm going to have to go through that, you know, with family and friends, you know, and it's going to be tough. But I feel like if we can't have these conversations yeah. and if it makes you leave, so okay. it is. That's just where I am. Yeah. So, you know, overall, I'm hearing that you're overwhelmed by the like, you know, oxygen and more needed people. And, you know, you've enjoyed that because you want to help people. But mm -hmm. right now you're you're realizing that in order to pursue your career, yep. your future, you're going to have to take I got to stop because I'm not going to be helping. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. we'll check.